Boys and girls, ladies and gents, and members of the Big Red Food Army, it's your boy Big Red. And we're here for another episode of The Ghetto Gourmet. Now part of being ghetto fabulous and being a ghetto gourmet chef is using leftovers. Most of the time I don't have leftovers, but today we have leftovers. So I'm going to show you all how to take... A pork tenderloin leftover and turn it into a ghetto fabulous sandwich. Let's get started shall we? So we got our little Tupperware with leftover pork tenderloin that's sliced up. We're gonna go ahead and stick this here in the, in the old nuka. I nuke it for about uh well, let's go for three minutes. What the hell? While we're doing that, we're going to get us a plate. We're going to get us some bread. Four slices of bread. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah. All we got is two ends left. So if we need to make a third sandwich, we can. Let's see. I'll get some mayonnaise. Like blue plate. That's the only thing I don't skimp on is the mayonnaise and the Heinz 57 sauce. Oops, I forgot to spread my bread out. Go ahead and put a dab of mayonnaise in. They have a man as that. Smells about done. Let's see what we're working with here. Oh, look at that steam coming up over there. Let me give us a little fork. You 
you go up here. And you go right there. And go up there. And then we've got these two little baby pieces left. I'm going to handle up on that right quick. Like I said, nothing goes to waste in the big red household. Uh, let me bring y'all in for a closer look. So there you go. That's some mayonnaise and some uh, Hans 57 sauce. Two pieces of, well this one's three pieces because those two were thin. Not even them out, you know. And then all I'm going to do is go ahead and slap the shut. I'm going to shut the uh, the hood, and then uh, yeah, we're ready to eat. So you guessed it, boys and girls. The only thing left to do is put it in your mouth. So walk with me as we uh, go over here to the glorious little. Uh, what you call it, the um, little coffee table, and uh, get our big ass on the ground, ow, my back and my legs are really hurting today, let's see if we can't find some, something on the old telly, what baby girl? Make sure all the sounds off before I go ahead and turn on the old cable box. Reruns of King of the Hill, some redneck shit, and reruns of Family Guy. There we go. All right, so there you have it. Leftover pork tenderloin sandwich. It is quite delicious. So let me know what y'all do with leftovers in your house. We rarely have leftovers. But when we do, I'm the one that usually eats them. My son... He'll eat leftovers of certain things. I can eat leftovers of jambalaya, red beans and rice, spaghetti and meat sauce. But other than that, little sucker won't eat leftovers. He gets that from his mom. Me? I don't care if it's a leftover, I'm going to eat it. And realistically, some things are better the second day or third day. Let's see, this is, today's Wednesday and I cooked this Sunday. Still good. Keep it in a sealed container. It'll stay for a couple days. Yeah, but the ex-wife, oh, I don't want leftovers. You got to throw, throw what away. You better put that in a Tupperware and I'll eat it tomorrow for lunch at work or whatever. But that's what happens when you're born with a silver spoon up your ass. Me on the other hand, 
when I was young, like real young, we had a little bit of money. And I was a spoiled little kid. Spoiled, but not, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? But not bratty, you know what I'm saying? Not like I always thought I had to have something. And then once I hit sixth grade, my grandpa lost his job. You know, we were we were poor. But we still got by. And then When it took a while for my grandpa to find another job. My grandma had to go to work. That's when I started running rampant, you know, doing crazy shit. Because at that point, by the time I was in seventh grade, I became like a latchkey kid. And, uh, but with both of them working, we got back on our feet. My grandma, at that point, you know, she decided she liked to work again because she worked when she was younger. And then, You know, from the time I moved in with him, when I was five, uh, six and a half, seven years old, she was always home. So when I got off the bus, she made sure my homework was done before I went outside and played. Uh, made sure supper was on the table. But as I got older, she realized, you know, she'd rather work or something. So she kept working and uh, weren't rich by any means at that point. But we, were, we weren't hurting. We weren't super rich or nothing. Upper middle class. Um, and when I started working, I started making killer money. Um, always had a nice ship, nice house, and went on disability. Got divorced and lost everything. Now I'm poor again. Because let me tell you, Social Security don't pay you crap. And, uh, but anyway, the moral of this story is. I've been well off as a kid. I've been dirt poor as a kid. I've been well off as an adult. I've been poor as an adult. But my grandparents always taught me to never waste nothing. You know, uh, Always eat your leftovers and stuff like that. Ex-wife, on the other hand, she 
She don't know what it's like to be poor. So, and there's the difference, you know? This looks like an episode I haven't seen before. I thought I'd seen them all. What, baby girl? And the juices that dripped out with that mayonnaise and that steak sauce. Mm. And then the juices that was in the pork chop itself and what it was marinated in, all mixed together, falling on a plate. Mm -hmm. I lick all this up off this plate. Mm -hmm. So, down in the comment section, let me know what y'all do with leftovers. It's very rare we have them here at my house, but when we do, I don't let them go to waste. Over there is a subscription button. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Next to that's the notification bell. Click that. Just because you subscribe doesn't mean you always get notified when new videos are produced. But that notification bell will make sure you get notified. Over there, thumbs up, thumbs down. Pop, 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 ba -da, pop, 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 pop. Hit me with one. It doesn't matter which. It just lets me know you're watching. But we like these better. Anyhow, down below is a uh, description box. Open that description box up. It'll be a description to this video. Links to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as a link to this channel's homepage where you can find all of my older content separated by series to make it easier for you. Life is hard enough watching this fat jackass eat and just ramble on shouldn't make life any harder. That's why I separate it, make things easy for you guys. Also, in that description box, you will find a link to my friend's website where we are selling shirts either inspired by The Big Red Show or seen worn on The Big Red Show, and you can purchase them there. And while you're there, also check out his uh, t-shirts that he does. He had, if you're in old if you're in Old Town Spring, North North Houston or Spring, Texas, stop by his shop. You can get your shirts made while you wait, or you could just check out the website and uh, get them through there. Uh, below that comment section, hit me up with a comment. I'll hit you up with one back, and you show me yours, and I'll show you mine. And as always. Tell your ma, tell your pa, tell your greasy, greasy grandma, share this video with your family and friends. Show them how you been getting down with Big Red. Maybe they would like to jump on board of this fantasy world that we call the Big Red Show. The plane, boss, the plane. No, that's Fantasy Island, not Fantasy World. But you get the gist. And remember, caring is sharing and sharing is caring. So share these videos with your family and friends if you don't mind. And for my first day sub... To my newest sub, I appreciate each and every one of you guys for taking the time to watch me, hang out with me, and eat a meal, learn to cook, listen about life stories and all of that. I appreciate that you hang with me. Thanks a lot. This has been Big Red for another Ghetto Gourmet, and I'll see you guys next time in the kitchen. Until then... Don't stay hungry. Go get your ass a good meal. I'll see you later. I got to go.